A disturbing child abuse case in southeastern New Mexico. Doctors say a nine-month-old was physically abused for weeks. Now her 19-year-old mother is in jail. News 13's Gabrielle Burkhart is live in Roswell with the story. Kim, this 24-page criminal complaint outlines multiple interviews detectives conducted with the baby's family. In the end, police say the young mom confessed. It was early December when Roswell police were called to Loveless Hospital after a nine-month-old baby girl was brought in by her grandparents. They were concerned because she was very sick and before officers could arrive to the hospital, the baby had been airlifted to a hospital in Albuquerque. The baby was taken to the University of New Mexico Hospital. According to court records, doctors determined the child suffered from a brain bleed near the membranes of the brain tissue that had to be caused by some sort of trauma to the head. The baby suffered skull fractures, multiple retinal hemorrhages, and a broken foot. Injuries doctors described as consistent with a two- to three-story fall or high-speed car accident. Family members were interviewed. Each one denied hurting the baby. But one person didn't have detectives convinced. The child's 19-year-old mother, Jasmine Murillo, she told police the baby had fallen and that her injuries likely worsened over time. With any type of injuries such as the ones that the this child sustained, um, one has to assume that the mother would know um, what she was doing to the child. Murillo finally broke down. Police say she eventually told detectives, quote, I would never hurt her intentionally, but there had been times where I would just throw her in her crib. Murillo was arrested on child abuse charges yesterday, with bond set at half a million dollars. It's very disturbing to see a case like this. Um, mothers are supposed to protect their children. Doctors believe the nine-month-old's fractured foot was likely a result of her getting caught in the rungs of a crib while being yanked out. The baby spent time in ICU for multiple seizures. Doctors said it's unclear if she'll lose her eyesight. Back to you. Okay, thanks, Gabrielle. Now, the baby has been released from the hospital. Police say the Children, Youth, and Families Department is involved, and they will decide where the child will stay. Whether that be with other family members is unclear at this point. No one else has been charged in the case.